What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. Today we're going over what's getting vaulted with Baruch Prime, who's getting released tomorrow, by the way, and also doing a quick refresher on how you can farm Baruch Prime relics the day of release. Basically, get a head up or a leg up on the competition of trying to sell them, or just to get the stuff immediately so you can not have to bother with farming it later. Before we get into it, though, make sure you're sub to this channel. Make sure you also check out the live stream channel. We do go and stream Warframe quite often over there. We'll also be live with some uh, sponsored streams this week as well. So if you want to check out some other games on there, go ahead and check it out. All right, so uh, I just woke up, so sorry if I sound a little bit out of it. Uh, I'm going to try to make sure I say everything correctly here. So as far as things getting vaulted tomorrow with Baruch Prime, uh, it's going to be some actually pretty good, maybe not good stuff. It's, it's similar to the Baruch Prime Access where the frame is really good, and the weapons that they came with are pretty forgettable. Uh, but I'd actually say that Octavia Prime, who's getting vaulted tomorrow, has better weapons than Baruch Prime. At least these have decent crit stats. The Tenora Prime, the Pandero Prime, and Octavia Prime will be vaulted. If you don't know what vaulted is, basically it means uh, new relics for these items will no longer drop in-game. That means that, you know... You, you can't go do a Void mission and have an Octavia Prime Relic drop anymore. And that's actually kind of funny because uh, I feel like it's been a very common Relic drop to drop from the Profit Taker itself is an Octavia Prime Radiant Relic. So they're going to probably add something different in there, like maybe a Baruch Prime Relic or, uh, I don't know, like a Garuda Prime Relic or something in Profit Taker as a Radiant Relic drop. So people have tons of those at this point. But as far as the weapons getting vaulted, uh, nothing you really need, I'd say. The Pandero is replaceable. The Tenora is replaceable. Um, they have decent stats. Like, the Pandero Prime is a slash-focused, uh, I guess i call it like a hybrid pistol, with good status and good crit. Uh, but it's also got, uh, it's also got Fan the Hammer Alt Fire, where it, like, expends the entire magazine at, uh, nearly at once. And, uh, you know, it's a serviceable weapon, but it is single target in a, you know, in an AoE world, it's a single target weapon, unfortunately. Um, and it doesn't do anything, like, crazy. Like, if we're doing a single target weapon, it's gonna have some crazy buff, like some Latum buff, or, uh, you know, maybe, like, a Force Slash proc, or a Tenant Planks kind of thing, where it does, like, a big boom shot. No, what you get with this is you get a, uh, good stat pistol. Uh, so, it, nothing you really need, and also, the alt burst fire is not that crazy anymore, because we have things like, well, it, hilariously, this fan the hammer used to be nuts back in the day, but we got, like, the Tenant Detron that can do that now, the, uh, the Kuva Kraken is, like, a, a complete, like, ripoff of this weapon, honestly, and there probably is some other weapons with fan the hammer alt fires I'm just not thinking about right now, the Athadai is a good one, i definitely use the Athadai over the Pandero, uh, for sure, so, not a weapon you really need, but if it's interesting to you, uh, sure, the... I guess. <laughs> These are both pretty much a single target weapons in a multi target world, like I said. And the Tenora Prime, uh, it's a mostly puncture focused uh, crit weapon, which has a alt fire that does a good amount of damage, but expends multiple bullets. Uh, and, you know, it's just a generic, pretty much a generic full auto rifle. I mean, you have so many of those. Just whatever one you think looks the coolest and has the best stats. Uh, thankfully, the Tenora Prime does look pretty cool, if you ask me. Uh, so, yeah, that's the stuff going away tomorrow. Let's do a quick refresher on how you can get these uh, Baruch Prime Relics the day of release. And a lot of it's going to be just having the, the, the peace of mind and the, you know, the presence of mind to, to get your rep stacked up the day before, a couple days before. Um, so I know it's a little bit late, so sorry about that, but you can actually spend your rep on these Relic Packs right here. And the day, that it, once, once you've confirmed that Baruch Prime's hotfix has been released, probably at 2 p.m. ET, you can start turning these in to get... Uh, random relics or Aya, and this potentially could give you a Baruch Prime relic or the Aphiris Prime, which will be terrible, or the Cobra and Cain, which will also be terrible. So syndicates over here are one of the choices you can go for, like two or three syndicates. But you know, a change that not a lot of people noticed a while ago. Uh, actually, all the open worlds also have. Uh, Hanzo's favorite. Oh, he's terrifying. Um, he <laughs> every open world also has uh, a. A faction now that you can turn in rep to buy relic packs from the actual open world. So the the Ostrons, uh, Fortuna, whatever they're called, Solaris United, and the Dimos infested dudes. Those all you can all get relics from them now. So just go to the mining person for each of those factions, uh, and if you have the rep, you can buy the uh, the relic packs. I don't think I have any rep right now for these guys, but I'm just gonna show you what I'm talking about. So you're right here, twenty. 
20k relic uh, rep per relic pack like yeah that's technically a thing you could do uh but i i don't have any reps so i can't do that so i'd have to go turn in some rep and of course you only have a you have a daily rep cap of like 30k per day um so that's something that you know unless you st were doing that already you might not have enough but there's no rush i i suppose if, if you already are not prepared for baruch prime uh i i think here's like this this information will be good for like Wisp Prime, which will probably be in summer of 2023, by the way. I'm not turning in my Steel Essence or anything for, for Relax for this stuff. I'm turning it in for, for Wisp Prime. So the guy on Cetus is the mining guy. The guy on Venus is also the mining guy named Smokefinger. And then the robot guy on uh, Dimos. I don't remember his name. I think it's like Lloyd. That's the mining guy there. Uh, so let's go also, like I said, Steel Essence. This, If you have a ton of Steel Essence... now. Like I said, I would not. I, I don't think Baruch Prime Access is going to be very hype, personally. Like they're expediting it to get the holiday money out of us, but Revenant Prime Access is better than this weapon-wise. And also, I don't think Baruch's going to be getting any buffs. I mean, maybe he will, but he's already a pretty good frame. So, and I, also Revenant was a pretty good frame too. They buffed buffed him like crazy. So who knows? I mean, you can also buy relic packs from from Teshin, of course, uh, which is going to be you know 15, 15 steel essence each. You know, if you need, oh, I have like no Kuva left. That's that's crazy. Uh, if if you want to go for it, but just remember, the Steel Essence isn't going anywhere. They're probably not going to remove these Relic Packs as a purchase option. So I'd say maybe wait for a more important Prime Access. Uh, but if you th really, if if you want Baruch that badly, be my guest because I I mean I'm gonna I'm about to umberforma him. I'm gonna umberforma his fist. I'm gonna umberforma the fr I don't know if I'll umberforma the frame, uh, but you know I'm gonna probably do like a Terrify Baruch build. Uh, I'll probably do a Nourish Baruch build, you know, stuff that is pretty straightforward. Nourish is actually hilarious, got buffed so much that I feel like Nourish is like a new, like, go-to option for a lot of frames. Like, I even might run it on Octavia, even though I don't really... Actually, it wouldn't be that good on Octavia. Um, but yeah, Nourish is so good that I probably will just put that in Baruch and have, have no issues at all. Get viral damage on his fists. Um, here, let me just do a quick... Uh, let's take a peek at this. I haven't, I haven't played Baruch in a while, so... Um, I don't think I even have a Helmuth on him. Yeah, no Helmuth on Baruch right now. Uh, I don't think I have a build on him either. So it'll be a fun exper uh, experiment process tomorrow um, to see what I... This this looks pretty decent. Um, to just, you know, see what I want to change. Reactive Storm, of course, gives you increased status chance and changes your fist damage to match the enemy's weaknesses. It'll, like, it'll become corrosive against armor, gas against the fest, etc., etc. So... It, so uh, Nourish from Grendel would make that also viral on top. So viral and corrosive. Or gas and viral. Sounds pretty good to me. So maybe keep an eye on that. Or maybe try it out yourself before I even make, uh, t try it out myself. Because I'll be testing stuff out on stream tomorrow too. Uh, the Aphirus is the weapon that's coming out with him. Keep in mind that it's not the same as a Dex Furus. If you have a Dex Furus Riven, that's a different weapon according to DE. So uh, don't get too excited. Also, the Dex Furus will probably be better than the... the uh, the Furious Prime, because the Furious Prime is going to have like 16% crit chance. It will have better status chance, technically. But yeah, don't hold your breath on these things being good. Uh, and the Cobra and Kane is an impact melee. I mean, I, I don't think that, that really needs much explanation there. There's no, uh, you know, internal bleeding for melees. There's no hemorrhage for melees. Like this mod right here. Impact, impact status has become Slash. We don't have that, so I'm not... Uh, there's, no, there's no way I could care about the Cobra and Kane Prime, so... We'll, we'll have to see uh, if it has like some special gimmick. But I highly doubt it because, because they're working on Daviri, honestly, and they're just getting this out so people can buy it before holidays are over. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Uh, Baruch video soon. Uh, I'll also be live uh, soon on, on stream, so go ahead and check that out if you're interested. All right, guys, appreciate all the support. Take it easy. Peace.